A week after the Uganda National Teachers Union flatly rejected the introduction of comprehensive sex education, leading morality campaign and Family Life Network Executive Director Stephen Langer has described as a time bomb. You've heard of petrol bombs. In a petrol bomb which will kill people is an explosion which is uncontrolled. In the same way, when you teach sexuality in an uncontrolled manner where there's no morality, then it is dangerous. It actually can turn out to be a weapon of mass destruction. It is a gay indoctrinating uh, sex education curriculum. This is the curriculum here. Uh, as you can see, it's called well, The World Starts With Me. It is a curriculum that is being uh, promoted by an organization known as SchoolNet. On one of the pages uh, here, it talks about uh, homosexuality. It says, how uh, do you know about homosexuality? And then it answers, most people are heterosexual. This means they feel attracted to the opposite sex. People can also feel attracted to the same sex. Langa says young people always are naturally curious about sex and sexuality, stressing that the right of young people to receive adequate sex education should come at the right time to make well-informed choices, relationship and their sexual lives. Uh, everything has its timing. Everything has its timing. And even the information that is going to be given to the children, or which is normally given to children, is given at an appropriate time. You see, you can't just give children any information any time. There is a proper time. And this has been done for ages. I mean, we've done this thing uh, ages. Parents have been doing this thing age, for, for ages. Our cultures, our society has been doing this thing for ages. In 2009, Ladiko Evangelical Minister Scott Lively headlined an anti-gay conference in Uganda discussing legislation to target LGBTI community with Stephen Langer Ugandan politicians and planned ways to drum up public support for it. It was to this point that Langer was called upon as a witness in the Massachusetts court in the United States and this is what he says about the court case. I'm here, I'm not hiding. And the case for which I'm called is actually a fake case. It's a case which is based on lies and based on the gay agenda, to propagate the gay agenda, which we reject and which is going to collapse because it is based on lies. So I'm here and I'm not going to go because I, I don't need to go because the whole thing is fake and uh, is something which does not even merit to be taken seriously. The officials at Family Life Network call upon the government and the religious leaders to be curious about comprehensive sexuality education and urge parents to be productive of their children. We also go to schools and uh, we teach the right kind of sex education. And so we are willing and ready to join uh, other uh, organizations and uh, like-minded uh, people who want to protect our children. I make a big appeal. I make a big appeal to the government of Uganda because the government has responsibility to determine what takes place in the country and what is allowed and what is not allowed. I appeal to the government at all levels, right from the top to the bottom, to stop and block or outlaw comprehensive sexuality education. Civil societies believe that comprehensive sexuality education is not and does not provide informed and guidance about the physical and emotional aspects of the growing up and starting relationships. Kawesa Luwama, WBS TV.